yo, what's good, what's good? We back for another video. Uh, as y'all saw in that intro, we was driving. Uh, we picked up that load in Fontana, California. It was actually at the terminal. Some driver picked it up and, you know, got loaded up. One mile ahead, take exit 302 and then turn left on Arizona 90 South. But what I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by Siri over here um, is, yeah, we were uh, we were supposed to drop off that load last night, and usually, I, I, like when I was OTR, I never had issues with Walmart. And, and, and Walmart, y'all watching this, I got no issues with y'all. But come on, man, if, if y'all got a big ass warehouse, you guys can take a, a trailer and unload it yourselves. You don't need me to be there. But hey, regardless of that. They rejected my load last night. They wouldn't let me take the load in. They said I had to come back the next day during my appointment. So I said, all right. You know, because as a trucker, as you already know, if you're driving, you've been driving in trucks for some time, there's always going to be something. And so, yeah, they wouldn't let me come in. So I said, all right, no worries. I'll just do my 10 hour reset and then um, I'll come back for my appointment in the morning. So, yeah, we got two hours to our next to the appointment. And there's a gym right next to the uh, the warehouse. I'm like, I'm gonna take advantage, get my workout in, and uh, we're gonna shower, and then we're gonna drop off this Walmart load, and then we're gonna go pick up our next load, which is I think like an hour out from, it's like an hour, hour and a half out from that drop off spot. So it's not too bad, not too far. So we don't have to use too much of our, of our drive time for that. And then we go hit the road. So, um, so yeah, that's a little bit of what happened last night. Um, like I said, I was too tired. I couldn't. I can vlog all that. I just want to, you know, just get there, park the truck, and then just go to sleep. But I figured I'd tell y'all, catch you guys up. That's what happened. But uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's hit the gym, shower, and then uh, we'll hit the, we'll we'll start dropping off this load at the uh, Walmart. I'll see you guys at the gym when we get there. Shopping centers makes me nervous. It's just a lot of tight turns, but we can get in here. I'm gonna find a way to park the truck. There it is. I'm just gonna park right here. Right here. Oh, yeah, we're about to work out here at Planet Fitness. I know some of y'all are probably like, what, Mike? Planet Fitness, why? It's not really my top, like it's not really the gym I would go to if I wasn't working right now, if I wasn't driving. But realistically, all the gyms that I usually work out, like, you know, LA Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, all those nice big gyms, they're not really truck friendly. They're in like really populated cities and it's hard to, uh, to get to them. And fun fact, I did my research when it comes to Planet Fitness and they actually have a lot of locations along like major interstate, like freeways or interstates. Like, so, and they're right like in like you know, small towns, like not too populated where you can actually um, find parking for your truck. So, um, that's why I go to Planet Fitness, but I, I mostly go just for cardio because your boy does need to lose some weight. I did gain some extra pounds uh, this past year, unfortunately, just because my schedule wasn't as consistent, you know, with trucking, like going to trucking school, then being on the road uh, with a trainer and, you know, you guys know the whole journey. But now that my schedule is a little bit in a, um, it's, it's more consistent, 
I know where my routes are at. And so now that I know my routes, I pretty much just do my research, see where like the nearest Walmarts are so I can go shopping for food, whenever I need to restock my fridge, or if I need to um, find a gym to work out because I need to get my steps. My goal is to lose, cut down, first off, lose some weight, lose this gut that I got, that I've, that I've acquired in the last year uh, or two. Uh, Cause I did get some, I did gain some weight during COVID as well. Uh, but yeah, lose some weight. Uh, so I primarily do a lot of cardio uh, just to, to cut down. I do some light lifting. Uh, primarily most of my lifting I do when I'm back home. Uh, that's that's usually when I do my lifting. So Planet Fitness, like I said, they have great cardio machines. So why not? So whenever I get a chance to find a Planet Fitness, that's where I go to work out. And so that's what I'm pretty much trying to do. That's the, that's the goal now to just be consistent with that routine. Uh, but yeah, let's hurry up because we gotta we gotta go pick up this uh, we gotta go drop off this load. I don't have that much time. I mean, we have a, we have like an hour, hour and a half. So I'm gonna get a quick cardio session in. We're gonna shower and then we're gonna go drop off this load. Uh, that should have been dropped off since last night, as you already know. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. All right, we found a decent spot here, right in front of Hobby Lobby parking lot. What I like about this area. Is I run across the street, y'all can't see it, but there's a Walmart over there. So if I need to restock food, kind of, I got a spot, I got a location where I could just, I gotta lock that door. I got a location where I could work out, shower, restock my fridge, and then uh, park my truck. So very convenient. Doing that. Yeah, let's just take a look, make sure everything's looking good on the truck before we hit to the gym. Yeah, simple, but you gotta do your research. That's all I do during my pre-trip, but this is the route that I usually take, so this is one of the gyms that I go to whenever I'm going to Texas. So, yeah, let's go hit this gym. And then we're gonna go pick up this load. I'm gonna hit the rope. All right, just double check this door's locked as well. All right, cool. Let's walk over. Yeah, whenever I get my, I can get my steps in, get my steps in. I'm also this year starting a thing where I'm parking my truck when I go to truck stops as far as I can from the pumps or from the, uh, from the actual truck stop, like the, like the travel center. So I can get at least some extra steps there as well. But yeah, just the little things, little things here and there help. But yeah, I gotta. I gotta cut down on some weight. So that's my goal this year, 2024. Never thought I would say it, but yeah. Sometimes you gotta you gotta kinda look back and see, oh shoot, you're doing well in some areas, but you're slacking others. So yeah, we're doing good in the trucking, but you slacking when it comes to health. So eating healthy is not enough. I need to also work out and be consistent. So this is what we're gonna do. But yeah, here's the Planet Fitness. Let's go in there, get the session going, and then uh, get the show on the road. Go we'll drop off that load, and we'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys uh, after this workout session.
rest and got that workout in. It wasn't as long as I wanted it to be, but workout, it's a good workout, better than nothing. But yeah, we gotta go drop off this load. I am not trying to get uh, this, this the second time, having it denied the second time. We're not doing that. So let's go drop this off and then um, pick up the next load. Corsicana, 2200 S business 45 on the right. Truck entrance. Uh, we just gotta look for that truck entrance. So GPS tends to take us sometimes where cars only go. It's happened to me like numerous times. I actually got into some really scary situations where I almost didn't, I was able to get out, but your boy makes it work. I make it work, but after that, I always, I always make sure before I go into anywhere, any facility, I make sure that that's like the truck spot, truck entrance or exit, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, looks like we're here. Let's check in with the guard shack, security, and see what's up. Let us pick us up early so I can get out of here. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a security card here. Dispatch. Place. I see one of trailers, so I know I'm in the right place. It's always fun going to new places that you've never been. All guessing games. So, I'm going to take y'all through this process. Okay, this batch is right there. Let me see. I my truck right here. Walk into dispatch. Receiving. And then go from there. See what's up. See what they tell me. Park right. Oh yeah, it looks like this is it right here. All right, we're gonna park right here because this guy's doing it. So I'm just gonna follow his lead. We're gonna go into the shipping office and go from there. All right, let's go to the shipping office. Let's get up here for and figure out where our trailer is at.
cold. It is cold, 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 cold. All right. So we're going to drop this trailer. And then our trailer is somewhere on that side. We're going to find out later. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Whoo! Man, y'all don't even understand how cold it is out here. It's bad. Yeah, we're going... Actually, she wanted me to put this. She wants me to put this thing in front of my trailer. I've never done this before. It's a magnet, she said. So... Right there. There we go. Right there. Now she said to drop it off on the corner. Drop it off in the corner. Oh. This looks like it's going to be a simple... Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a simple drop. So, I like that. This place is pretty simple to navigate. I see we're going to drive right there in the back. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's drop this trailer. So, Try. Am I gonna get on the first try? On the first try? Probably not, but close enough. Get in there. Get in there. That was horrible. Sometimes I get it really well. I really, 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 really well. Sometimes really, 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 really bad. That was really, really bad. Let's spread this out. There we go. Get that in there.
Okay. Air buds. So I hear a hissy sound. Good. Try to move my lock back. Always forget. There we go. There we go. Let's release. I'll grab this next trailer. Release this. That's the beat we need. Actually good. I thought it was, thought it was too, too hot. All right, we hooked up. Same thing. Good 
do a pre-trip after we get our paperwork. Let's go grab that paperwork. Just want me to grab this. Ugh. All right, so we got, we're all connected to our, our sick, our, our loaded trailer. She wanted me to bring this back to her, so it's all the way over there. I know I should probably walk, but we don't drive over there. Yeah, we don't drive. Outside, I consider walking, but it is I'm getting ashy as hell, cold as hell out there. So, yeah, we're gonna grab this paperwork and then we're pretty much good to go. Like that we got our paperwork i love it man this account so far no complaints i think i'm gonna be staying with this account for a minute it's a good way to start the year actually i'm getting all excited i gotta do a pre-trip on this trailer real quick even though it is loaded and all that you never know there could be something wrong with the trailer so gotta check make sure everything's good before we head out but in most cases, it's usually the case. It's usually good, but you gotta protect yourself, right? Make sure we got mud flaps and all that. Cause, oh, that one's look. That one looks like it's loose. Seals good. All right. The lights looking good. What's wrong with this mud flap? Oh, it's just bent. Okay. All right, we can work with that. Check for the tires. All right. Yeah. Always, always, always do walk around. It's always what we don't. Something's going on. All right, we're looking good. All right, now we can go. I was gonna excited to leave. I didn't do a quick trip on the trailer. All right, let's get it. Now we can go. <laughs>
back to the terminal. Um, as y'all can see, honestly, I, I didn't really put, <laughs> I just realized I didn't really put the way back. I didn't record the way back, but it's pretty much the same route. Y'all already know. Uh, but yeah, we made it back to the terminal and uh, it was a nice drive. I actually enjoy the uh, California to uh, Texas or Texas back to California drive. It's actually really, really enjoying. It's an enjoying, it's an enjoyable drive. Is that the word enjoyable? Enjoyable. I'm going to just say it's an enjoyable ride. But um, I prefer that over obviously driving in snow, like all of my other fellow drivers who are driving in, you know, in that snowstorm that they've been having up there in Washington and uh, Oregon and that northern area northern northwest area which is where i was supposed to be but my uh my fleet manager hooked me up with this texas ride this texas style load so kudos to him for that but um we're done for the week and uh about to take my not my 34 hour reset we're about to take actually some extra time because i requested like like four or five days we're gonna have a five day weekend um gonna celebrate my one year anniversary as a trucker uh, can't believe it's been a year since uh, a, a year ago this week is when I was going to school to be a trucker which is wild how long and how crazy it's been it's, it's been a wild ride let's just say it's been a wild ride but I am so thankful for the journey and still thankful for everything I'm still learning to this day because I don't know it all but um but yeah we're gonna celebrate our one I'm gonna actually I got some friends uh, from uh, guys that I went to school with um, they're gonna be meeting me up there too I'm not gonna say where we're going you guys will see because I'm gonna be posting that that uh, home time or that you know that that vlog is gonna be pretty much everything we're gonna be doing and hanging out out there so I'm not gonna say yet where we're going but we are gonna be celebrating and uh, looking forward to it um, but I am one I, I did want to say thank you again because I like to I like to kind of say this in all my videos moving forward I really would appreciate all the love. I think I got 218 or 220 followers now. I think we gained like 20 followers since the last video, which to me, I know some people, they don't consider 20 followers a lot. To me, that's a lot. That's 20 new people that decide to take a time to not only watch my video, my videos, but show me some love and follow and subscribe. So really appreciate the love. And again, I'm not gonna say what everybody says, but if you could, you know, any type of love is, is love, watching the video, subscribing, sharing, all that. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to make the content a lot more interesting. Uh, like I said, I'm still a new, I'm still a new driver, I'm a rookie. So the point of my videos is really to just show rookies who are joining, like a rookie right now, someone right now watching this video, I'm sure is about to start their journey as a trucker. And I just wanna give you a heads up. I wanna kinda be your eyes and ears if I can and show you what to expect and maybe not make the same mistakes I made and also see what the journey could be and see if that's really what you should if this is for you because a lot of people come into this industry thinking that oh yeah trucking okay I'm gonna start driving trucks it is not for everybody uh, I've seen so many people not only quit uh, there's people that quit when I was in trucking school there's people that quit literally after they got their CDL they just drove like a week or two after they got uh, their own truck quit or got into a situation accident who knows like different situations. I've known so many situations. I've seen so many and heard of so many situations. So again, make sure this is for you. And that's why I do these videos is to just, you know, just show you what it looks like. What does it look like on a typical day as a trucker? And also to document my journey, because I would like to down the road, see all these videos and rewatch these videos and be like, man, I can't believe that was me at that time and at that time and at that time you know just like a little documentary for myself personal documentary so it's my personal documentary and it's a vlog for you guys and i think it's, it's going to be a great journey and i look forward to it so again thank you for all the love i don't want this video to be too long i try my best to make them short not like the first three or four videos that i posted but um if you if you if um you watch all the way at this point appreciate you and i hope to see you guys on the next video because it's going to be a pretty sick video I'm going to try my best to make it a little bit. It's not going to be a trucking vlog. It's more going to be like, uh, yeah, I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But if I don't see, if I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if I don't see you in the next video, stay blessed. Peace.